Okay, for our first story, we got Cardi B versus Offset. Okay, so she's broken it off with... Well, this happened all in the course of one night. She broke it off with Offset saying, Peace, single, he put this peace sign back. And this is all because her boyfriend, Tommy G's, we've all heard about him from loving hip-hop and doing her interview. She said she's looking to hold him down no matter what. Well, she broke up with Offset. She had enough. She said... She said, I'm done with this, and Tommy G's is home. That's her true love before all the fame and everything, so she can actually trust him. This is an industry relationship. But I guess she reconsidered this because she woke up this morning, and she apologized. You know, she basically sent something to Offset, uh, basically along the lines of, you know, I'm sorry, babe, I can act crazy sometimes. Uh, the Bronx girl comes out of me. But let's make it up over Waffle House, you know. And uh, then <laughs> Offset responds, loose. He puts a picture up and says, loose. Uh, I never loose or something like that. Or I never loose. It means loose. But anyways, they got back together for some reason. You know, like, I don't know. That was weird. But anyways, it is what it is. She's going to end up, they're going to end up breaking up anyways because... Her real boyfriend's back home, so they're gonna put you know that's who she's probably gonna end up with anyways. Otherwise, he's gonna start going to Love and Hip Hop. He'll be on Love and Hip Hop now, and then she'll have a whole another problem, you know, dealing with that crap. So then, anyways, on our next story, we got oh, this is a great Bow Wow. Okay, Bow Wow's back in the news. Everybody, somebody asked him if he's ever gonna do Lottery Ticket Two, and he said, "Not with that." jerk off brandon t jackson that was his co-star in the movie uh and brandon t jackson eventually this all stems from brandon t jackson kind of teasing bow wow uh making fun of him for all his like you know the the what challenge was that the the bow wow challenge and then he said he made fun of bow wow photo photoshopping himself into pictures and all that kind of stuff and then he eventually put out some he put out some uh thing where he was like oh here it is this is what he said to bow wow listen man i'm 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 sending out special prayers to uh somebody i work with in the past um man listen i'm this ain't no hate or no shade this is some real stuff and i'm not trying to put another brother down to get up because i can really care less about getting up or whatever we feel like up is in our society these days where oh get money get money when the money's not gonna matter in a few years but that's a whole new story but it's funny but i'm like it's not funny because i feel like you know some people are out here lost man and like y'all need to pray for bow wow man for real because i'm 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 it's never gonna be a lottery ticket to the way he acting right now and i'm just like People are asking me like like we hang out for real and I'm not hating or shading like I got a family I got three kids man. I'm married. I'm chilling like I don't you know I'm. So basically that happened and then you know he he was putting up some like posts and then uh, Cleo Thomas who was both their co-star in uh, Roll Bounce said uh, when two of your former co-stars start beefing Bow Wow and Brandon T. Jackson let's just all make Roll Bounce too and y'all can have a skate off for who should be the leader of Garden Boys that's funny. Then uh, Brandon T. Jackson, when uh, when Bow Wow put up the thing, not with Brandon T. Jackson, he said, "Really, Shad Mass? Really, I was reaching out to you out of love. Of course, your Hollywood, Ohio, Atlanta stuff, whichever city you decide to Photoshop in these days, you don't even answer the phone when I hit you up. But if you want to take it there, we can. Just remember, I'm a comedian. You're a character, and just because you're a character doesn't mean you have character. But of course, you're gonna take every joke personal because you're not happy with yourself, and." And the whole world can see it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be respectful and not stoop to your level, but I'm just gonna make some jokes about it. Brandon T. Jackson also hit up Wax Star, who uh, hangs out with Bow Wow. He's from uh, Compton Menace Hood, and you know that's pretty much who holds Bow Wow down. He said, "Don't ever hit me up over this stuff anymore." To Brandon T. Jackson, it's like this is why Bow Wow feels like he's so tough because underneath. The thing with Cleo Thomas said, he said, fuck that dude when I see him. You know, you know me, bro. Fuck all that net shit. You know me, little bro. You know I'm crazy. You know I'll fuck him up. I'm Garnies. It's like, dude, this guy's trying to act like he's a tough guy now. This guy's really losing it. 
So, uh, anyways, that's that. So then, next up, we got um, Suge Knight. The messages came out where Suge Knight was threatening F. Gary Gray. You know, he was basically upset with the Straight Outta Compton movie, uh, saying, like, oh, man, uh, you know, first, first he was heading up F. Gary Gray, and F. Gary Gray was like, stop, just stop talking to him. And uh, Suge didn't like the way he was being depicted, and he wasn't being compensated, and he wasn't involved in the movie, so F. Gary Gray would eventually hang up and ignore him. He said, I'll see you in person. You have kids just like me. Let's play hardball. That's the, all these texts got leaked. But when F. Gary Gray got on the stand, he pretended like he didn't know anything because he was scared, according to D.A. Cynthia Barnes. Um, obviously, we know Suge's locked up for running over that guy at that burger stand uh, at the set of the, the movie. And then his own girlfriend turned in the footage that she sold to TMZ, and she eventually had to give the money back. That was overturned. Uh, and, you know, it's just it's so stupid, man. Then uh, what else do you say? Uh, Shug went on to text, I'm from Bompton. I'm a blood criminal street gang member from the city of Compton. Time has arrived. Faith in God. Keep people safe. The devil's money can't save no one. So this guy's just dig digging a hole for himself. Then next we got, uh, oh yeah, the Migos. They're, uh, they said what they said the other day, you'll never believe who the ex executive produced Culture 2, which is coming out. I mean, we could guess Kanye because... Remember they did that deal with Kanye back in the day, uh, like two years ago. I say back in the day, two years ago, where uh, they were under management. Obviously, that never went through, but uh, they're obviously tight with Kanye. So obviously, Kanye is executive producing it. Eh, I would have rather they stay with Metro Boomin and everybody because I like that sound. The Kanye sounds a little too artsy fartsy, but you know, it might be good for their album sales too. Plus, maybe they wanted to do something different. But these guys steady make hits. Obviously, we know that. Uh, Nicki Minaj uh, s said that uh, she's been done the feature with Little Uzi Vert, and uh, I, you know, and the labels basically hate. We, we reported on this yesterday. Uh, Uzi Vert basically called it out and said, uh, "Leak the track," because Don Cannon came out and said. Well, we have nothing to do with this either. Don Cannon and um, uh, DJ Drama is who Little Easy Vert assigned to on Atlantic. And um, they said they have nothing to do with it. Um, but Uzi said, stop lying. Let it out. We know why they're holding it up. Cardi B's over at Atlantic. They don't want competition with another female artist. They want to get Nikki. You know, they, 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 it's a conflict of, interest, conflict of interest that they're investing in another female's music when they already have their own female that they're trying to promote and stay hot uh but uh it's the song um the way it, the way life goes that's my favorite track on that so atlantic's holding up this remix from dropping they don't want it to compete with cardi b so we'll have to see what happens with that next up we got jay-z revealed that when uh tupac first dissed biggie uh, he told Biggie, yo, you got to go back in on him. And Biggie was actually like, nah, that's not the kind of um, energy I want around my album and my career. And he didn't respond. And then he said, if Faith is having sex with him, hopefully it stops. But, you know, I'm not going to go crazy over that. So he kind of stayed out of it. But, you know, Pac was trying to sell records. Biggie was just trying to chill and make music. He already lived the street life. See, Pac... Pac was like more artsy guy. He was living a thug image, hanging out with thugs at that point. But he grew up more artsy. Biggie really lived, like came up from Brooklyn, like in the streets. So he he didn't want to be in that anymore. You know, that wasn't, you know, he, he just wanted to do music. So that's understandable. Then we got PMB Rock was dropped from the festival, the Rolling Out Festival, due to being a part of A Boogie's stomp out on little b yesterday over a tweet that uh basically said let's see I'll, I'll put it up for you guys i'll make sure i get this on the screen so you guys can see it uh but basically oh, where is it he said he basically said that 
he's holding down New York more than New York. And uh, everybody else sounds like Dej Loaf and uh, Future nowadays. Here it is. Here it is. And uh, Don Q responded to it. He said, I feel like I rep New York hip hop harder than some of the artists from New York. These New York artists sound like Future and Dej Loaf. And then Don Q said, shut the fuck up. So... PMB Rock was removed from the festival and replaced with Krayshawn. Um, there's no reason to beat up Little B anyways. Pretty harmless. But anyways, guys, that's the news for the weekend. I will be back tomorrow reporting more. Probably drop another video too tonight. Make sure you subscribe to the new streaming channel below. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate everyone in the room. Uh, and I'll check you guys tomorrow. Peace.